San Jose police with a new view of Saturday's rescue mission as this massive five alarm fire tore through Home Depot. Stills of officer body worn cameras captured what it took to save dozens of pets from Wagley located just next door. I definitely was traumatized. Not him. <laughs> Come on, let's go outside. Corey Dodgson is talking about her nine month old Maltipu named Archie. Saturday happened to be Archie's first trial run for overnight boarding. Hours after dropping him off, Dodgson found herself rushing back with smoke billowing from the neighboring building. Thanks to social media, she learned all animals had been evacuated. I was more than relieved to hear that all the dogs were put into vans, like employees' cars, cops' cars. They literally just chucked them into cars and got them out of there. Pet owners were sent to nearby golf land where many were reunited with their dogs. Over the phone, we connected with the owner of eight-year-old Kiki, a 26-pound Conquer Spaniel Terrier mix. Kiki's humans were heading back into the city, spotting the smoke miles away. My wife said, oh my gosh, Home Depot's on fire. It's like, oh nuts, you know, that's part of the complex that Wagley's at. So we floored it, we got off at Santa Teresa, and we got as close as we could. Reuniting took some extra effort for Jan Fabrin and his family as Kiki was taken to Campbell, checked for smoke inhalation, and later released around 11 p.m. The city says seven dogs and one cat remain at San Jose's Animal Care Center. My saving grace on this trip was that it was a trial and that I was in town, and I, I wasn't across the United States, you know, or, you know, some people were on their honeymoon in another country. We reached out to Wagley for a comment but didn't hear back. Their website says this location remains temporarily closed because of damage. In San Jose, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.